boys as we've not seen them for some time. So yes, we're off out and about today. Good morning, it's Sunday and today I am back in the hedge. What a surprise. Uh, we are putting in the extractor fan, which so many people have asked questions about. Why haven't we got one? Where is it? There was a hole. Why isn't there a hole? So we've got all the bits now. So we're just about to put it in. I've just started drilling. You see, I've marked the hole. I've put a centre hole in and then got a little compass and drew the uh, diameter of the hole on there, the circumference of the hole. Uh, and I'm just going with a, a little drill bit and drilling all around it in, and then I can just poke it through. I was going to use a saw, but because I'm doing it in place and there's wires and bits above it, I don't want a saw blade flying around. So I thought just a drill bit, and it just pokes through the hole a little bit. And I don't have to take anything out. So I shall get on with it and let you know how it goes later. Right, Jason. So you've cut the hole. I've cut the hole. Ta -da. My plan worked well. Good. So nice extractor. Nice. And yeah. that's the original one that we've been waiting for weeks yes. from Amazon. Yeah, not the second one we bought to replace this one when this one didn't turn up. <laughs> and, so. and it wasn't Amazon, it was our favourite delivery company Hermes, Hermes who then actually delivered that one to About the six doors down yeah <laughs> to the wrong address so we had to go and get it but we've got it now anyway yeah it's much nicer than the other one but the other one will probably end up going in the kitchen I yeah think, so but, right, but. So, yeah so that's where so nice to flush. all of those people that said, where's your fan? <laughs> There's the fan. There's the fan. Oh, yeah. it looks good. It looks a bit tidier than the other one. The other one was a bit square. Well, it st sticks right out as well. Yeah. So that's a bit more flush to the, the uh, deck head. Yeah, I'm more happy with that one. Just got to wire it in now and then put a pipe on. Ta-da! So Jason's currently outside on the deck in the wind. He just moaned at me and said, you should be out there filming. I'm not going out there. I've been battered up by the wind today, but he's got the pipe in and he's just out there. But as you can see, he's drilling through to fit the stainless steel vent in. Hello. And the top is not liking the noise, as you can tell. The pipe is in. He's wired it all into the switch that you can see there. So we'll wait for him if he makes it back off deck in the wind to see how it looks. So he's halfway through now. You can just see him on the outside. Is he going to be able to get that bit out? Place. I need to get a load of dust in here, which the wind is blowing in. Oh, there he is, through the hole. He's made it through, and then goes the vent. We've got one with uh, like a grate on, so no creepy crawlies get in. You all right there, Jason? Hello. <laughs> I think that's a little bit of tidying up, and that's about perfect. Yes, the wind has been terrible all last night and today we've got about 38 to 40 knots of wind and we are nicely bouncing back and forth off the pontoons and shortly we have to go out and grab our lunch from the diner which is up the top there 
where we go every Sunday for Sunday lunch, which is very nice. Oh, here he comes now. Uh, went quite well, actually. <laughs> Especially in the wind. Yeah. I don't know whether I needed to drill it or not, because um, there's a little bit of wood screwed on the outside. Mm. And I don't know whether the hole that's there You've got a hole and then a bit of wood over the hole that I've drilled a hole in. Mm. I'm going to undo that, see if it, that hole there is a good enough size to use. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. As you can tell, it's very windy. <laughs> to go and get our dinner at the riverside. So this is just outside of the marina. It's called the Riverside Diner. There's some lovely ladies in there. We've got some very nice Sunday lunches. They're about to feed us our dinner. Hurrah! Although we're not having a roast today, are we? No. no. Full English. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have to dull it down for a full English today. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back from lunch now and Jason's back out on the deck, pulled the uh, foil pipe through and he's just about to fit the new stainless steel vent cover. If he can stay afloat. I don't know if you can see there's too much in the way, how much we're floating around. so windy that it's making everything difficult to do. So this is the outside vent we just fitted for the bathroom. Nice stained steel vent. It's covered on the top. Just sits inside. Out the way so shouldn't get any water in there. Right, so the extractor fan is all now fitted and working a treat. We're going to test it out later when we have a shower. So we've not really done much this weekend. Um, as we said yesterday, we was out and about seeing family, wasn't we, Jason? We were. Did so it being my youngest Reese's 16th birthday a few days ago. And it's Alex's Your 18th yes. next weekend. So. Yes, so we was out and about yesterday, so we didn't really do much. So it's not, not the most, sorry, can I just come up the stairs? Not the uh, most exciting of videos this week, but we just wanted to get a few small, bits and pieces done give jason a well-deserved break oh yeah that's not what you've been saying all day well no i think honestly you could have done more <laughs> but i think it was that big fry up that you had at lunchtime that stopped you <laughs> stopped me in my tracks yeah me? but next weekend or at some point this week we're going to go and get all the insulation for the aft cabin and I'd just like to point out to all our viewers, as you can see, Jason has been back in here again. Not as much mess. Yeah. <sighs> what I mean is, whenever you go anywhere, there is a trowel of mess. No. Oh, are you doing something else now? I was just trying to clean the edges to see if I can get it ready to put a little window film on. Oh. Oh, you're doing something else tonight then? I think you should. It'd be nice to stop having the polystyrene at the window. Is 
So he shakes his head and does a lot of huffing and puffing. But that means he's going to do it. He just needs a little nudge in the right direction. <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you finished being busy today, Kerry? <laughs> I, I, there's not really a lot for me to do until we start the after cabin again. And I do have a slightly bad back. Not that I'm asking for any sympathy from anybody. At least, you know, not you. We know you wouldn't give me any sympathy. <laughs> Soon as I've done pretty much the whole of this boat with a bad back and a bad knee. <laughs> yeah, but that's your norm. That's just your norm. It's alright, it's the dog going up the uh, steps. He's been down in the after cabin. But no, so next video, hopefully, we will be doing something a little more exciting. But it was quite nice to have some time off. Well, it's just been a rush to get the bathroom done, isn't it? So, And not only that, we have worked solidly every weekend and every spare day we've had since last August on the boat, haven't we? Yeah, we haven't. The only day we had off is Christmas and Boxing Day, haven't we, really? Yeah, so we've literally, from the moment we got the boat, we've worked every weekend and any days that we can get here so i think we deserved well you deserved but saying that day off you drove all day yesterday <laughs> stuck in traffic yeah i only drove what six hours yesterday yeah <laughs> but there you go He's got a bit of cake from the Riverside Diner to make up for all his woes today, so he'll be happy later. So yes, we will see. We can continue this part to see if Jason puts some film on the window. Or not. Or not. So clearly Jason had a surge of energy and decided to put the window film on, which is a little tricky when you've got these little boat windows that slide but he's done one side and now we're trying the other which is this is the harder one <laughs> <laughs> trouble is that stuff is just it's like velcro we did have it in our house on our windows which was a lot easier to do but obviously when you've got tiny little windows that you can't fully get to it's a lot more difficult and I thought that bit of sticky was on the other side on the side that I wanted <laughs> well I think we've got enough on the row anyway if we needed to redo it Jason just some window cling film frosted that we bought from eBay now comes the uh, tricky bit Also, what we didn't say about is that we've now had a full week of using our Simplu composting toilet. Uh, we emptied the bag in it. So it was in there for seven days, was it seven or six? Seven, I think. Seven days. So we pooped in a bag for seven days, which have to say first time that we all used it it was a little strange you're used to flushing the toilet but no nope, soon got used to it it was absolutely fine have to say that the charcoal filter that comes with the Simplu is amazing so if you're going to buy a Simplu definitely get the charcoal 
uh, air vent thing with it because you can't smell a thing so but when you take it out <laughs> yeah unfortunately when i got the job of emptying the poop bag so after seven days <laughs> of the smell was not pleasant jason has not got a good <laughs> <laughs> gag, reflex. gag reflex yeah so he just started vomiting um i thought it was all right i mean it wasn't a pleasant smell but when you actually use the toilet and you put the lid down and someone's been in here for the toilet you can't smell anything in fact it is better than a house toilet for smells literally cannot smell a thing so if anyone's going to buy the simplu toilet for their boat definitely get the charcoal air vent because it works a treat emptying the toilet was easy you just lifted out the bag tied it up we put it we doubled it up in another bag um, the only thing i would say is that we didn't put some people put like coconut hair or scented sawdust in the bottom I think that probably is a wise thing to do um, a because it just soaks up fluids and if you buy the scented sawdust it helps with smells when you're emptying it so we will should probably get some of that um, but apart from that it works absolutely fine the only thing I would say is you have to get your aim right which is a little tricky at times but no, no problems with it whatsoever. Um, so yes, but definitely buy the charcoal air vent with it if you're going to buy a Simplu. The second thing was our shower head, which is amazing. Possibly the best shower head that we've ever had. We've been using it all week now. Um, it is such a good idea to have the stop start button on it because you save a lot of water. Um, but yeah, that works really well too with all the settings with the rain, full massage and the power jet on it. And uh, it doesn't lose the water pressure at all. Um, but no, so it's all, all good in the bathroom. No complaints as of yet, but I'm sure I can find something. Jason. Me. Yeah, yeah, we complain about you. But uh, yes. So, the experience of pooping in a bag has gone well. Right, so we didn't get to show you, well you've probably seen it anyway, but the window is now all frosted. And the extractor fan worked lovely last night, so I shall switch it on. All working and the switches for this and the bathroom light are out here in the companion way.